if you don't mind talking about that, what kind of things would it be hinted at or would it be specifically spoken about? Um, it was very specifically spoken about and I was banned from travelling. So I was supposed to go to New York and I picked up an agency there and I my hips were 91 centimetres and not 90. And I think 90, I think 91 centimetres, you're still quite small size eight, so you're still pretty, pretty thin, sort of for you know, sort of near six foot girl, but to do the shows, they actually really, but I sort of started at a time when they wanted exceptionally thin women. That you had to, like you had to be extremely, extremely small and especially the hip measurements. Um, and where do you think this is for came, editorial stuff. And where do you think that came from? Because exceptionally thin is an, is an unusual kind of desire to, of course, we all have different body shapes and things like that, yeah. but where has that kind of culture come from, do you think? I don't know if it's coming from the designers or it's just sort of what people then expect. And I do think, I actually really thank the Kardashians for changing what our sort of view of what women's bodies should be. I think, well, I think it has sort of, I think it is sort of changing now within the modeling industry. So what people are expected to be, if you look, look at a lot of advertising campaigns now, there's not only sort of a bigger diversity in skin color, but also in age and body shape. 